Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 of my Vindictus Let's Play. On the last video, we completed a bunch of side missions for the most part. As for the main story, we found out that there has been communication between the Fomors, the Nulls, and Fobello, and Horfrost Hollow. So it seems as though they have joined forces and the Fomorian commander Shakar is involved, whom everybody seems to be afraid of. And for our main storyline, we are actually supposed to intercept a message from Shakar, and that's in this battle quest, Kobold Chief, and we need to find the order to Emulok, and then take it to Gwyn. But I am gonna start with, right now I'm Bryn's research, so that's where I'm gonna start the video, because it's the next battle after the one that we did last time. I'm trying to do everything in order, so it's just easier to keep track that way. What missions do we have? Get a uh, Warfrost our crystal, copper ore, and I don't have a bomb, so I can't do that last mission. I need to kill the wisp with a small bomb. Alright, there's no ore veins or anything. I should destroy these. I still do need the or frost or crystal for for this quest. I need to watch my stamina because I tend to um, run out. This quest is actually for, I think, Gallagher. It's for the potions. Hmm. 
these and get these iron um iron veins or whatever they're called or veins So I didn't get any Horfrost or Crystal in this run. It sucks. Let's go to, um, wait, did I even finish it? Yeah. So, go to Gallagher. Did you bring all of them? Hand them over. Hurry up. Awesome. You know what, Rookie? I did some research on this potion when you were out. This potion contains nightshade. Nightshade is poisonous, you know? Magicians call it the hair of Nevon, and many of them are willing to pay loads to get it. That sounds amazing, huh? I'm sure I can sell this one at a super high price. Well, you've done a great job. Here's your reward. It's good enough for you, right? 8,000 gold. Okay, so... What's next? This is actually, um, this last quest right here is for the other map. I don't know how to pronounce that. I swear to god. Like, I don't know, I gotta show it to you first, because I don't know. Yeah, let me, let me just walk over there and show you how they spell it right here I don't know if you can see that but how the fuck like how do you pronounce that like to be honest I don't really say these things out loud because I don't have any friends that like play MMOs in real life and I don't think like when I played Vindictus back then we didn't really go on voice chat or anything but in my head swear to god like not even trying to be funny but i just read it like as anal how the fuck <laughs> like how do you pronounce that shit like someone please <laughs> i don't know okay well moving on um, I guess source of the rumor is the next one, and that is for Kirsty. All right. Oh, and I've always wondered, like, why are these two, like, this guy- Oh shit, it disappeared. Okay, I was too slow. I was fucking around. But, 
Okay, so this one is like constipated, and then the other one is like fucking has hemorrhoids. Like, <laughs> why? I don't think they ever um explained it. Or maybe I just missed it. We'll definitely find out this time though, because I've always been curious about that. Is it like, um, have they been drinking like the potion and it's making their stomach like, it's fucking up their stomach? I mean, I don't know. That's like my best guess. Just destroy these. I didn't even hit any single one of them. Okay. all sick okay this one is um this one is constipated that one is feeble and then this one is has the hemorrhoids <laughs> okay so i think maybe what is this quest source of the rumor so so um yeah i don't know If it was like on the other battle quest where like the dude was um drinking potions and shit but man can somebody drop like the Warfrost hollow yeah i haven't gotten one oh yay sweet this one Yeah, like, I'm guessing they're just like sick over here. They're like diseased and shit. I don't know. What is the quest? Um, the quest is about health potions, I think. It's the one where um, I had to decide between health and yeah, health is the best, so. Does that have anything to do with how they're like all fucked up in that battle? So I don't really, I don't get it. Where, why are we going over there? I don't think that's like the best place to find out more about how to be healthy. Because they're all fucking sick over there. Alright, here's Kirsty. Did you really find it? I was starting to get nervous. So this is the legendary eternal fire bloom? Huh, that's funny. This is this is a candle. Kirsty's eyes suddenly widen. Of course, I get it now. Those who light know it not the sweet taste of eternity's glow. God, I hate it when they word shit like this. Those who light know not the sweet taste. So if you light it, so all the people that light it, the candle, whatever, 
doesn't know the sweet taste of eternity's glow. Those who light not know the bitter untaste of eternal shadow. Yeah, no. I can't. It's like going over my head. Those who don't light it Okay, so like if you don't light it, it stays dark or some shit. And then if you do light it, then I don't know. I forgot what the other one says. <laughs> light glow shadow plus this strange name. Eternal fire bloom. It was describing a candle all along. No wonder I heard a cobalt started acting weird after eating one of these. Oh, they were eating the candles? So that's why they're like constipated and shit. Does that mean you did all the work for nothing? Wait, what's this written here? This candle will last forever if it's never lit. I mean, I guess that's what it's been trying to say. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I get that part. I was just trying to um see if there was another meaning. Okay, what's over here? Oh, I got a coin thing. And then all this shit expired. Damn it. That's expired, expired. I think I can delete it, yeah. Okay. Alright, what's next? Okay, now it's Cobalt Chief, which is the main story. Okay, so I only have one Horfrost Hollow Crystal, so I need two more. Yeah. I think my mic might have been muted for the first few minutes. 
ょうかI feel like I'm not gonna have time to do. Okay, now I do. Okay, that works pretty well. If they're um melee, but if they're like range, it doesn't really work too well. Like if you do the counter attack and then do the right click combos I mean I guess it doesn't really matter much right now cause they don't really um hit too hard alright just gonna destroy these again please drop or Frost Hollow, please. to Gwyn. And then we get some armor. What am I wearing right now? Yeah, it's, this is a different armor set. The Cobalt Chieftain was there and you stopped him? It seems our luck may have taken a turn for the better. You hand her the note you found. Another set of orders. Okay. Dear Zayden, let me take a look at it. Aiden carefully reads over the Fumorian order. Unless some is taken, this is a call to arms. The kobolds are amassing in Horfrost Hollow. They're preparing for war. Huh. If that's true, then there's not a moment to lose. We must rout their forces before they can move. Okay, so here's the battle quest. Awakening. Ye Awakening. Armor of Darkness. I'll report this development to Rochest, but there's no way they can muster reinforcements in time. Captain, we need your help again. How long do you think you can order us around? We're not your hunting dogs. Merrick, this is highly relevant to our town's safety. I don't want to hear another word out of you. Let's move, people. We're racing against time. Yeah, it's kind of necessary right now, but I do understand how Merrick feels, although, I don't know, dude, priorities. Alright, so, the awakening. Oh. So, the polar bear is actually, it comes before this, but I don't have a quest for it yet. And we didn't get the armor yet. 
Let's go do that one, I guess. Alright. Here's the battle quest. Parfrost steps are an unusual place for the kobolds to gather. We need to have our troops organized before they arrive. Let's hope we aren't too late. Okay. Horfrost steps. I remember Horfrost steps, but it's like it's a level of, like level forty map, right? Like a level forty, level fifty. So I don't know what she was talking about then. Are they like gathering over there? And then this is just like, um. It's like they were just. They just mentioned. I don't know. So I guess we didn't really kill these monsters previously, right? Is that like. Is these like the same bosses that we fought? Yeah, I think. I don't know, I can't tell. I mean, they look like that, but I don't remember the names. Oh yeah, well this one, that's like the exact boss that was drinking all those potions. Yeah, I do want to try other skills though. This skill is always fucking me up because um, I keep forgetting what button to press to fire it. Because you activate it by pressing the Z button down here, but you have to um, press another key afterwards to um, to fire it. And I keep forgetting which key it is. Oh, just have a bad memory. Is that it? No. Oh. The hell? That was weird. I don't remember this. Okay. The kobolds have been defeated. You stand with the others, awaiting orders. Who? There's no one else here. I did not expect the kobolds to have gathered this large of a force. Good work, everyone. Oh, everybody, literally everybody's here. Hey, Gallagher, you still alive? Of course I am. Shoot, I'm not paid well enough to be risking my neck like this. <laughs> you are allowed to quit whenever you wish, mercenary. We fight not for gold, but for a cause. You will eliminate the Fulmars. We fight for paradise. How to keep fighting without such a mission? Whatever, lady. I'm just yammering. Don't take it so seriously. <laughs> hey, what are you just standing there for? You ready to return? You feel strange. Your heart pounds. You feel on edge. You're so tense, you're almost frightened. Quit your daydreaming already. Everyone else has left. Whatever, I'm going to. You can join us when whenever you're ready. Caligar leaves you behind. Everyone is gone. Horfrost Hollow is wrapped in silence. You feel even more anxious than before. I don't remember this part at all. Okay, so this is that same ring that Gallagher stole from um, whoever that robe guy is that he was talking about. So the ring in your pocket starts to vibrate. Oh, we still have this shit? I didn't even... The ring is glowing. It looks powerful and tense. The fuck? sound of clapping breaks the silence. The fuck was that? 
Oh. What's that potion, dude? So, um... There's like a... Oh. <laughs> You're walking like that. <laughs> Damn. And I'm alone? I mean, I, I've always been alone anyway. Damn, are they like stronger? Oh, yeah. Look. Even the names say it. Damn, I need to get out of here. Yeah, I can't get out of here. Fuck. Damn, running out of stamina. Okay. The fuck? Kobolds have gathered and surrounded you. You're not sure when they appeared. The ring vibrates more violently. I think I know what's happening here. Is it like, um, they changed it so this is when you get to acquire your Dark Knight and Paladin? The ring's vibrations match your heartbeat as if the two were one. Power explodes from within you. I don't know what this is. Oh, it is. You receive an active skill for transformation. Press X to select the skill. X? And then Z to use. Okay. It's this one right here. What is that? Well, I have never seen that skill before. Here's another one. Yeah, I've never seen that too. Is that it? Hang on. Yeah. And it's this lame ass skill that I can't figure out how to... I really should read these, um... Skill... Skill information... Window, whatever. I just have a bad memory. I do remember, like, the shit that I remember is, like, useless things, which sucks. Alright. Man. That shit won't drop. Did I even... No. Okay. The kobold commanders fall. The kobold soldiers scramble away in fear. You slay the ones who remain one by one. They're so demoralized they don't even attempt to resist. When you return to your sons, you see kobold corpses everywhere you look. Let me close this. Hands and feet entangled at odd angles. The sharp scent of blood. Damn. You start to feel dizzy again. All of this done by a single person. The ring's darkness goes quiet as if nothing had happened. That calmness makes you even more afraid. You have to get out of here before anyone sees you. Back then, um, you don't get your Dark Knight and Paladin shit until like level 40. So, I wonder how it works here, like this time around. Where's the skill window? Here. It 
Is it even here? I don't see it. I need to level up my skills too. So, Quinn, Merrick, you're late. I thought something happened to you. Why do you look so pale? You can't tell Merrick what happened in Horfrost Hollow. You're not even sure how you'd start. Besides, he'd never believe it. Or worse, he might believe it and, you th and think you were some sort of monster. You were too cold to move? I guess it's pretty cold there. Maybe I should add warmer... Maybe I should add warmer clothes to the supply list. Intention never won. The battle was intense. I didn't expect so many of them. But I'm glad that things went as well as they did. Aiden. It takes a significant amount of time and effort to mobilize that many troops. Shakar was definitely behind this. Do you have news from the capital? Quinn looks over an official letter from Rochest. Nothing I can share. Here's Merrick. That's not fair. We're risking our lives for you, and you don't even have the decency to tell us what we're up against. Gwen is sorry. What? You're giving me no information at all. Just a few orders I'm not allowed to share. I'm just as in the dark as you are. Typical. We should take solace in the fact that we prevented what could have been a massive battle. You're all dismissed. Rest up until the next mission. Here's a makeup. Makeup pass. And that's it. We did get an armor. Alright. I do want to look at the skills real quick. I'm just going to buy these, I guess. Yeah. Willpower. I need willpower mastery for life flare. Yeah, this is that skill that helps you survive like a like a deadly hit grants you a chance to resist incapacitation from significant blows yeah and then i need combat mastery rank d where is that at here first smash mastery so i'm gonna level this to f because you see how it adds like 10 percent but I do remember like Smash Mastery is like one of the most important skills if I remember correctly. So these are level 26. What else do I have? Active Moonlight. Okay. So it's just that active skill. Same as this one, I think. Yeah. Can be bound to a quick slot with X and activated with Z. Okay, so you can put it in like 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever. What is it anyway? Like a dodge type of thing? Spend stamina to travel rapidly inside the Orbis. Moving and evading attacks. Okay. Can combo with dark matter before leaving the orbis and th this charges in all direction. Resource stamina. Cool. Can combine with rune fear on landing. I don't remember these names here? No. 
Okay. So I guess it makes it faster to cast this on um, tier, whatever. Alright. I'll get it eventually. I wonder if I should put that one skill... I feel like I'm gonna need to put these active skills in, like, right here. Like, the one, two, three, four. Um... I'll start with this one. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Oh, this is that third one. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and level it up. I do like this one. Okay, so this is that one skill that keeps fucking me up, so when you activate it, you can use left click or you can use right click. Yeah. It's like two different two different attacks. Yeah, one of them just goes straight. And then that one is like, um, a multiple orbs. Okay, here's that one. Put it in number one and see. That's pretty much it. Like, um, it's just used to block. And then you can combo it with other skills. Gotcha. Okay. Kirsty. I heard that the mercenary unit defeated the kobolds that invaded Horfrost Hollow. Impressive. From what I understand, you played the biggest role. I probably shouldn't have lagged behind, but I was scouring the area for traces of, well, you know, the giant polar bear I mentioned. Big, furry, well, I found his hideout. I couldn't get a good look. There were too many kobolds, but the mercenaries drove them out, so I've got a shot. I don't have the courage to fight it though, and I don't have a weapon strong enough. You've tried like twice already, come on. You ask why this is so important. Well, the truth is, my teacher put that scar on his eye. Oh, it wasn't her, it was... okay. But in exchange, it took my teacher's life. So that's why she hates him. Polar bear. I seek vengeance, but have no idea how to proceed. I don't want to miss my chance. What, you want to go? No, it's too dangerous, even for you. Courage and temerity are not the same. I don't want to lose my new friend. Fate of Kirsty's nemesis. You insist on going after the giant polar bear. You just will not listen to sense. Fine. If I can talk sense into you, I can at least prepare you for what's ahead. But don't blame me for the new scars you'll be sporting. Just hold on for a moment while I get this. Here, these small bombs should be useful. Just don't blow your hands off. Tyrant's challenge. What brings you here? You want to learn more about the White Tyrant? To tell you the truth, it's it was actually my master who left that mark on Beast Eye. Have I ever told you about Hakam? Hakam Kagreen? Jesus, these names are so hard to pronounce. Hakam was known as a sharpshooter. He was always dead on with his bow and dagger. He came from decades of big game hunting. Kirsty smiles at the memory. He ran a shop in Rochest packed with would-be apprentices. Arthian used to trim the leather holding Dolores on his back and chase everyone out the house. And chase everyone out the store, sorry. 
Those are Hakam's kids, Arthian and Dolores. Anyway, Arthian almost kicked me out too. I remember those two. They're um, they're in Rochester. But I insisted on staying because I had nowhere else to go. I started to work at the shop, and Arthian and I became good friends. So many things have happened to us since then. I finally became Hakam's apprentice, but Arthian, it's already in the past. Sorry, I've been talking quite a bit. Inevitability. The sun hides amongst the clouds today. It makes the world seem dark, like disaster looms. A cloud that was hiding the sun shifts, and you notice a strange shadowy movement. Kirsty rushes back to the door and anxiously peers out. Kirsty stares outside for a long time, then shuts the door, eyes downcast. Kirsty turns towards you. When you came in, did you see anyone out there? You shake your head and Kirsty sighs. Must have been my imagination. Wishful thinking. I'm sorry. I'm being terrible company. I just thought I saw someone I knew. It's Arthian, right? Okay, so need to go to Ashlyn. Yeah, it says. Who could Kirsty have seen? Perhaps there is a newcomer in town. Go to Ashland in the general store or Merrick at the outpost to investigate. We've been going to Merrick a lot, so I'm going to go to Ashland. Okay. So, main story is the White Tyrant. And then, yeah, like when we get to level 36, the White Tyrant is like back. There's a level 36. Um battle where he's like a stronger version and super angry because we kicked his butt all right okay go to ashlyn here he is arthian excuse me but in this town is there only one traveler shop of course, single traveler shop is more than sufficient for a small place like Colhan. Why do you ask? Um, well... Arthian mutters something to himself, so that means... I beg your pardon? I didn't quite catch that. Never mind. Arthian is about to rush out of the store, but stops when he sees you. You, I saw you. You're the one I saw. Hmm. Arthian mutters something under his breath. Can't be trusted. Arthian shoves you and leaves. Rude. Oh my, what a weird person. But what brings you here? You shrug and Ashlyn looks exasperated. Why is everyone acting so strange today? Go talk to Tiv. So you run into Arthian, go to Tiv at the end. If you want to follow him yourself. Go to the traveler's shop if you want to inform Kirsty first. Oh. That's cool. I didn't know they had these, um, choices. So what should I do? I'm gonna go follow him because he pushed me. Like, what's your deal? What? Why are you bothering me again? This isn't about Kirsty, is it? You. What's your relationship with her? I'm surrounded by asses. Arthian! It's been so long, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look here. If it isn't the successor of a Hakam, the legendary hunter Kirsty. Everyone bow before her. That sounds extremely sarcastic. Arthian, what are you talking about? I never claimed to be Hakam's successor. Your greatness oozes from you. Oh, chosen one, how can the rest of us compete? Damn, it's bitter. Kirsty furs her brow. Arthian, you can deny it all you want, but people are calling you the successor of Hakam. And so that's who you've become. You can't change it, so don't bother to deny it. Or is that pretty little modesty your twisted way of gloating? Arthian, it's been so long. How is Dolores? 
Is she well? Does she come with you? Hmm, that's enough. I wish to talk to you no more. Then what are you doing here, bro? Kirsty furrows her brow. Arthian. Teeth looks extremely worried. Kirsty, why don't you go back to your shop? Char, please take Kirsty back to her shop, please. Kirsty gives Arthian a long look. He refuses to glance in her direction. Okay, I'll come back later. Kirsty charges out of the inn. Talk to T. The hunter's test. That's none of your business. T just smiles at him. Why the hell are you smiling at me? You must be a very close friend of Kirsty. <laughs> what? You're so comfortable when you talk to Kirsty, but why are you so mean to her? I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you ever notice, Arthian? You don't stutter when you talk to Kirsty. What? Not only that, but every time you talk about Kirsty, you use proper words. Does that mean you and Kirsty are good friends who have shared secrets and. Stop it! What do you know about it? How much do you know about me? Do you even know anything about Kirsty? Like why my father chose her as his successor? Your father? <laughs> Your father is Hakam? You're Hakam's son? You're just like revealing everything about yourself. Curses, forget it, just forget it. Arthian goes to his room. I had no idea he was Hakam's son. You don't know who Hakam is? Hakam, Hakam, sharpshooter. How do you even say that name? I've, I've been saying it so much now that I feel like it sounds silly. Or like I'm pronouncing it wrong. The legendary hunter admired by all throughout the kingdom. I heard he had a son and a daughter. That must be his son. Teeth looks at Arthian's room silently. I think it'd be better for us to leave him alone for a while. I'll contact you when he comes out again. I should cook something up in the meantime. I'm sure he hasn't eaten anything lately. The inn is filled with sweet smell of pancakes. Hello, you came just in time. I just finished up some pancakes. Okay, here he is. Thanks for the food. Arthian sits on a chair and then stares at tea before eating a pancake. I'm sorry for screaming at you earlier. Teev smiles at him. That's alright, I know. Sunlight comes through the window, keeps the inn bright and warm. Arthian's story? Is there something you want to tell Arthian? Shall I give him the message? Stop bothering the inn lady. Talk to me directly if you have something to say. I'm fine. Forget it. Teeth smiles softly. You, are you friends with Kirsty? Kirsty is. As you may already know, Akam is my father. He always had a lot of visitors. Everyone wanted to become my dad's. Arthian mutters under his breath. Apprentice. But most of them left after they were rejected. Some lingered a while, but they always left. Because my dad was never at home. How come some of the words are like smaller? Like the font is smaller. He was out for months and months hunting. But Kirsty was different. She worked at the shop like it was her shop. She waited for months, years for Hakam, never once complaining. Back then I got to Parthian mutters under his breath. See her smile every day. But now, hey, what's your name? You tell him your name. He mutters under his breath. What a terrible, cheesy name. <laughs> Do you know how Hakam chose his successor? No, my father never let anyone be his apprentice. But then an incident one day changed his mind. His only loss. One year after that incident, he said that whoever succeeded where he failed would be his successor. Where is he? Like, is he still alive? Do you want to know who won? Do you think it was me? He laughs so sharply, it disturbs you. Me? Huh. 
I was injured by a rabbit and couldn't even participate. The son of a legend disqualified. The son of a legend disqualified by a rabbit. No. Kirsty became Hakam's successor, Kirsty. You ask him what he meant. Damn yeah, it, I hate it when it changed so fast. You really know how to waste your time. My father, Hakam, had one enemy he could never beat. One night when Dolores was asleep, he left to confront his enemy. Kirsty and I tried to stop him, but he refused to listen. He left a great scar across the beast's eye. But Hakam's scar was even greater. He barely made it home alive. That's what changed his mind about having an apprentice, I think. You know who his enemy was, don't you? Full repair? The White Tyrant. You know the one. Slay the White Tyrant. To this day, I cannot bear that he killed my father. Oh, yet he still roams free. Kirsty still does not wear her successor's armor. Oh. He's dead. That day, she became his successor. Arthian mutters under his breath. He said words I should not have said. I would like to make it up to her. Right? So, go to... Oh. That battle quest. So, now I have two quests in there. I think I'll save this for next time though, so... On the next video, we're gonna go defeat the giant polar bear and dethrone the white tyrant and do the rest of these other quests. See you guys on the next video.